Hey, I'm Jonathan, and in a couple of days I'm gonna play my, my very first disc golf tournament. But the problem is, like, I don't know the most important rules of disc golf. That is a slight problem. So I turned to Johannes and asked him quite calmly, like, can you help me out with this? I need to know the most important official and unofficial rules, so people don't go, what an imbecile behind my back. And that is what we're gonna do in this video. Don't worry, I'll teach you. So let's start with what can you prepare really. So before the round, number one, mark all your, all your discs, make a dot, write your name, your phone number. I did this. That works, yeah. obviously yours. Another easy thing that you can do before is have a, have a t-shirt. can't not have a t-shirt and wear shoes. What if I don't want to wear a t-shirt? Uh, you might get disqualified from the, from wear, just wear the shirt, wear the shoes. But pants I can go without. I mean, strictly following the rule book. Yeah. Yeah. I see a loophole here. Yeah, but please, Jonathan. <laughs> and of course, I got plenty of tips for preparation, but that, that's not actually in the rules. That's just so you have a good time. Next thing. Yay. For the very first hole of the event, uh, the tournament director has probably uh, created an order for you, either by random or, or something. But for the next couple of holes, who's throwing first? Well, it's the person that made the best result on the hole before. Let's see who does the best result on this hole now then. Oh, that's high. I'm not saying that this will happen, but what if we have the equal amount of points on this hole then? Then you check the hole before that, and if it's a tie uh, there, you go to the hole before and... and but this is our first hole, what to do then? Yeah, then we go for the original order. So we got the throwing order off the tee, yeah. but how do you do on the course after the first shot? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, the guy or girl further, furthest away from the basket always throws first. So, marking the lie, I mean, throwing from the tee, that's pretty easy, that's a designated area. But how do you mark and where do you throw from here? Well. Marking, you have two options. If you want to play with another disc, you can leave this one right here, and then that's the marker. Or you use one of these. Then you put it right in front of the disc, pointing at the basket, and then you can throw with this one again. So this is pretty important what you're doing out on the course, and it doesn't matter if you're se if, if it's the second, third, fourth, fifth, uh, or tenth shot. It's the same same rule supply. I got some prop to show you. Ooh. This is where you need to be. For every shot, imagine that you have that kind of box. And you have to have one supporting point within this box. You can stand like that, and I can stand like that. Or I could do... That's fine. What? I can... I can finger? <laughs> I can use my <laughs> finger. You can actually stand on your head on this one and throw but I would not recommend it. But what about the other foot? I want to have it somewhere. Everything behind the lie is okay. This is okay, this is okay. That's not okay. Get back, sir. Uh, and this only applies when, exactly when you're releasing the disc. So after I've released, I can step over, which means that I could potentially stand like this and throw, but now within 10 meters. So I'm here, and I'm, I'll be marking it. Use the mini marker, because yeah. you get slightly closer to the basket. Mm. Every centimeter counts. But there's one more thing now that we're within 10 meters. I know where you're going with this, Johannes. Within 10 meters, you have to show balance. You can't fall forward straight after. I came over that with doing this. Like, I used to stand like this, like really, like I'm, I'm supposed to sprint. But then I did this, eh, and that forces me to not sort of do fall, this thing. Fall overboard. Don't fall overboard and do a lot of aces. I think we scored the same now. Well, if you manage to mess this up, maybe it will not be the same. So purely for educational purposes, I'm going to do a bad putt. What now? This is designated 
OB area, meaning out of bounds. It feels out of bounds. So you can't play from there, plus you're getting a penalty throw. You have to play from, from where it lived. You have to mark your lie the last place where it was safe. Here? Yeah. Oh, you have these things. Nature. Anyways, I don't have... I, okay. I'm just gonna use my arm for this. Good arm. Thank you. It's my left one. <laughs> and now you're definitely gonna need your mini. I don't have it. Either you put it right by the line almost. Why? Because you can make your own choice. Okay, so I can't go one meter towards the basket. No. But if the basket were, if you were the basket, I can go towards you. Yeah. But, but always perpendicular from the perpendicular. OB line where you crossed. That's such a big word. I can do whatever I want. Like in this area, I'm in charge. Yep. Let's see if I can make this putt for real since then. You, you count your, your, the, the sh all the shots you made, but then plus one for the OB shot, for the penalty. Yeah. Even though it was educational. Even though it was educational. Fine. But there's other ty types of OBs. This is one of them. It's called a bunker. Usually on a golf course where you have sand, they're used. So if I land here, I play from the where I land, but I get the penalty shot. You, you missed a little bit. But more commonly, uh, the OB area could be just a straight line. Uh, or a piece of rope. It's usually pretty pretty obvious. Let's say that this piece of wood is OB and it plays just as if you're in the water. This is OB. You can't play from there. It went out here, so I have to mark within a meter perpendicular of the line. But as I because I've seen videos, Johannes, with the pros going, that's out of or that's out, this is not out. What is out and what is not out? All of the disc has to be out. If just a millimeter of the disc is, is in the safe area, it's safe. This might be a problem, because it's really hard to tell, is it 100% out? So this is also in the PDGA rules, actually. If it's like almost impossible to, to tell, uh, use benefit of the doubt. Call it safe, uh, which brings us on to the next subject. Be nice. That's good. Good thing in life, equally good in, in disc golf when playing tournaments and casually. You can actually get penalized for, for not being nice. Mm. There's a thing in the PDA rules called courtesy. You can get a warning and if you get two warnings you can get a penalty shot just mm. for not being nice. Like swearing. And yeah, cursing, swearing. Uh, breaking stuff. Not good. <laughs> you can get disqualified from the whole tournament. Don't break stuff. Come on! Also be mindful, when people are playing mm. and they're, they're, they're really focusing for their shot, don't talk with others that much as oh, they're yeah. preparing for their throw. Mm -hmm. Between shots, mm -hmm. talk away, have fun. But when people are focusing, try to stay out of their way. And be quiet. Yeah, and different people want it different way. Just, just ask the group. Can I talk now? Yeah. We do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. But you can also do another thing. You can have a good day and also... Like. Like. Subscribe. Again. Subscribe twice and do an ace today. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna go ace now. <laughs> it's very easy. Hey though. Head up!